Welcome. I wanted to uh, say hello and welcome to South Piedmont Community College. We're here at the Whitaker Technology Center on the Polkton campus of South Piedmont. I'm here with Dennis Balcom, the Vo Director of Vocational Programs, and Bob Winfrey, our Auto Body Instructor. And we're going to share with you uh, some of the exciting things we have going on here at uh, South Piedmont in our Auto Body Program. And uh, Dennis and Bob are going to take you on a tour of the shop and tell you about some of the new investment and in the technology we uh, have here on campus and are real excited to share with you today. So let's get started. This is the photogrammic stereoscopic camera measuring system. It is the ultimate technology. It hasn't even been out, uh, out on the market at all yet. It is so fast that you can go out and as quick as you can take a picture and download it to your computer, you can actually measure every point on the body of a vehicle, accurate to within one-tenth of a millimeter. The school is actually very blessed to have this piece of equipment. There's none in any shops in the United States at this time. It's going to be a great time saver for other shops. And our technicians here that go through our training will be using this piece of equipment. It's kind of like a computer game for the students. They really enjoy how quick it is to use. What makes this, this piece of equipment unique in terms of measuring? There's absolutely nothing that you have to set up on the vehicle except for this board. As long as this checkerboard is in the uh, image, it calibrates every time it takes a picture, and therefore different equipment like front end machines have to be calibrated every 30 days, where this thing, every time you take an image, it recalibrates itself to the board, so there's no guesswork on that particular vehicle. And in our past, we've only been able to measure accurately within two millimeters, and with this piece of equipment, it actually calls out the numbers in tenths of a millimeter. Uh, aside from the from the, this really advanced technology, we have other investment, other things that are going on in the shop. Tell us what else you have in the shop. Well, we offer before, we, before we get out there and see it, tell us what else you have. Well, one neat thing is we offer ICAR training, and there's very few schools in North Carolina that offer ICAR training at all, but this helps our students get a job after they complete the programs here at the college. In the past, we had a little problem with job placement, but since we've taken on the ICAR programs, most auto body shops and mechanical shops require some kind of certification. And with your help, we were able to procure the ICAR training, which is 10 times above anything else that I've ever seen. And the students leave here with a basic knowledge. They get two hours in the classroom and they get two hours out in the shop. So they actually get hands on with the tools and equipment. And we have un almost, it seems like, unlimited amounts of mechanical tools out there. We have frame straightening equipment. We have MIG welding, we have TIG welding, we have uh, cutting torches, we have all the latest. And when we go in the shop, we're going to see two paint booths? Yes, sir. We have two paint booths. We have a primer booth, and we have a downdraft heated spray booth mm -hmm. that is actually uh, set up to where you can even spray waterborne paint in there. And a lot of shops have to uh, take on an extra expense to have additional fans and equipment put in their paint booth to spray waterborne, but we have that already. So that's one technology that, that we can pass on to the students, waterborne is the green technology of the auto body business. Very good. And, and actually, equipment like this saves a lot of time and energy also. One of, the, one of the neat things about auto body is you take a crumbled up vehicle or you take an old rusty Hulk and you make a beautiful car out of it again, it makes it's a very great sense of accomplishment. And we're standing here in the, in the technology center. Uh, we're in the classroom here that's adjacent to the, to the shop, and you'll see that, but we're, we have computers here that students are using. We have uh, LCD projector, and Bob's using that to, to provide the instruction to the students. And so we're learning here in the classroom with a, on a, in a sort of a lecture-like environment, and we're immediately adjourning and going to the shop and, and putting those skills, skills to use. So it's very hands-on, interactive kind of environment, and um, we're, real, we're, we're very lucky to have uh, these two gentlemen driving the, driving the, the program, more than 50 years of experience in automotive technology, and so we're really blessed to marry that kind of experience with, uh, with investment and equipment to really make uh, the learning environment uh, extraordinary and create the opportunity for our students to be competitive in the workforce. So we're very excited. So why don't you take us out to the shop and, and show, us, show us some of the equipment. We're out here in our shop, and I wanted you guys to see the size of this building. Uh, we've got approximately 8,000 square foot under one roof. We have a tool and equipment area, we have a frame straightening machine. Uh, our students have a lot of projects opened up. We have a gold medallion frame, piece of frame straightening equipment that you can put your vehicle up on. Uh, we have our measuring system set up underneath this vehicle. Uh, the students were doing a sample of measuring from some of the cars from the 70s. 
some of the tolerances back in the old days was a lot worse than what it is today. Today cars are built within a, mil within a millimeter of tolerance and the tolerance on this vehicle was 10 millimeters plus or minus. This vehicle set up and been measured in the front. There was minor damage to the front of the vehicle and the measuring system determined that the, the vehicle was off about 20 millimeters. The students were very uh, impressed with the accuracy of this piece of equipment. On the board here we have a bunch of pulling equipment, the latest and greatest clamps, chains, all the uh, necessary equipment to restore a vehicle back to its factory dimensions so that it'll be safe going down the road. That's one of the things that we stress in our classes is to repair these cars safely. They're safety capsules with families' lives in them, so they're very important that you restore the structural integrity from the accident. We were fortunate enough uh, with the community to have a local body shop donate this car to the body shop so the guys could take it apart and put it back together uh, and, and do some body work on it. So what did, what did, tell us a little bit about what they've been doing to this car. This, this car has been uh, one of our star uh, panel replacement cars that we've used for an exterior body panel class that we have is for taking the body panels off and lining them up. It's been disassembled and scattered around the shop several times. We have a law enforcement training vehicle here from the college that uh, one of our day students is working on in the refinishing class. The uh, paint on the hood was delaminating and we've stripped that hood down to bare metal and we're going to refinish the car and, and make it look new again. So Bob, tell us a little bit about our primate booth here. Well when they make it through the metal straightening area out in the shop and they actually get down to this end, we have them prime in the environmentally friendly prime booth here where uh, it catches all the overspray and we don't harm the environment. Um, you can see some of the fellows have some little pieces in here. They're constantly using it all the time. It's a good place to, uh, to keep the uh, overspray condensed in one area and keep it from going up in the atmosphere. This area is, is sort of separated from the, uh, the bodywork area and it's a lot cleaner over here, Bob. Why is that? We call this our clean room. This is where all the prep, the taping, uh, the masking of the door jams, the covering of the wheels, everything gets done out here and then put into our uh, very nice heated downdraft spray booth. Uh, the students are taught over on the other side over here how to mix paint. We have bulk material in there and uh, we make quarts, pints, gallons. The students are, they'll take a formula and out of many colors create one color. And I think it's really good for them to understand the process that goes into making color. It makes it a lot easier for them to match color when they get out there in the field. And we have another training vehicle in our booth. And you can see um, we can easily put a pickup truck in there or four-door cars. And it is a very clean environment. We get a factory quality paint job out of that paint booth. Well, tell us a little bit about this car, Bob. This is a 68 Cougar that belongs to one of our students. It's actually made it through the auto body process. If you would have saw this beauty before it made it to primer, it, it had uh, what we would call some perforation in the body, a few holes here and there. It's made it through the priming process in the priming booth. Then it had a little visit in the paint booth down there and got all our jams taken care of. And now it's in the assembly process where the, uh, the young fellow that's working on it's going to put the body back on it and take it back to the paint area after it's prepped and painted. We have a, another vehicle back there that actually made it completely through the process that's in the assembly stages. That's a, that's a four or five year project down there. <laughs> Painstaking and loving project. Uh, all new floor pans, doors, fenders, uh, patch panels on the bed. It was a pretty major restoration job on that 1979 Chevrolet down there. But the students, uh, when they make it to this end, uh, they're very gratified by what they've done. When they actually, actually see a little shiny paint on that car, it, it kind of makes them uh, feel like they've really accomplished something. And, and it makes us all proud to see them get to this stage. We really enjoy working with the students. Some of the projects take longer than others, um, but I think they all get a lot out of it. And they all realize that uh, it's a very endearing trade, and they can take something really ugly and make something beautiful out of it.